for Halloween and you going out like Wolverine. <laughs> there you go. Only problem is Wolverine don't have a pot belly. <laughs> I used to not have one of those. <laughs> used to would. Used to could. <laughs> Renee's giving you the googly eyes. <laughs> I see you. Good morning, you guys. Thanks for joining us and thanks for being a part of the network. Yes, And definitely. liking and sharing and commenting. Don't forget, we are also on YouTube and on Twitch in case you don't like Facebook. <laughs> Just say well, okay. Or if Facebook is having a glitch, which is which is Don't most do it. of the time. No. <laughs> yeah, no, Facebook's no. gonna go whack. Do you want to explain what Twitch is? Because I still don't understand. Okay, Twitch is another video platform. Yes. It is Amazon's answer to YouTube. Okay. Mostly, it has people playing video games on it that you could watch. Oh, oh, oh. You get to watch other people playing video games. That's <laughs> mostly what's on <laughs> Twitch. But at some point, they may actually, like, you know, with people like me, increase slightly what their, you know, viewership is about. That is ultimately their goal. We might as well be on there. Anyway. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. And Periscope works when it wants to work. Something is seriously off with that. I don't know. And honestly, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious! And Periscope is the uh, the video side of uh, of Twitter, <laughs> the Twitter. <laughs> all right. So yeah, we're all over the place, and there is a small possibility. I was just talking to someone this morning that we may actually start doing this as a podcast. Nice. So I don't know who's I... interested in a podcast, and when I say podcast, I mean an actual podcast. Now, how is that going to work on the days that we actually have photos? It, uh, then they won't come through. Oh, People okay. just listen to it. That's the whole point. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was just and for those of you that don't know what an actual podcast is, that means you record audio, as we are doing today, and then you upload it to a server storage area and link that to an Apple iTunes account so that you can then download it as a podcast. That is why it's called a podcast. It's part of Apple. <laughs> and you have to have your stuff on remote well, storage okay. because local storage doesn't have enough bandwidth to upload the audio to all the people that want to listen to it. Okay, so my, my thing is, is, and I know you don't have the answer to this, so it's a, <laughs> it's a rhetorical. So why is it called a podcast if it's Apple-based instead of iCast? Because pod, I, I pod. Oh. Podcast. <laughs> Yeah, there it nice. is. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. so Gina has said good morning. Good morning, well, Gina. Gina. Um, Dave says uh, he's telling you you need to, to get, get a haircut, haircut. You long-haired hippie. Yes, you know what? I disgust myself. It's horrifying. <laughs> I am turning into a friggin' hippie. <laughs> and then uh, Gina is also saying that her grandson uses or plays on Twitch. See, so there you go. If he would, if he wanted to turn into the morning show or the nightly news, he could watch it there. And Dave is asking, how does the gamer chick not know what Twitch is? Because they didn't have Twitch when she was a gamer chick. Pretty now much. she is a college chick. <laughs> Which actually, in my book, is a lot more fun. <laughs> college chicks are fun. Um, and Gwenny is saying hi with hi. her wife. Hi! Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Gina was saying I was wondering as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not only that. It's, <coughs> it's you watch people game, right? Yeah, you watch them, and they have they have a little cut screen where it shows them playing the video game, and then you have a bigger screen of the video game, so you can watch their reactions as they're playing a video game. So, okay, so when I when I game, I just 
fumble through. <laughs> I don't need to watch somebody you're else. One those, you're one of those button and, mashers, aren't you? Depending <laughs> on the game, yes. We're all going to die. If it is a gaming console, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the, the games that I was really, really into, mm -hmm. I would just find my own way and try to figure it out. I wouldn't, you know, I, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't watch somebody else. Well, apparently that's like a big thing. People like watching other people play video games and see what their reactions are. I, it's not really my cup of tea to each their own. Yeah, not something I would. You're crazy. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> and then Dave says, up Periscope, I have a nervous twitch. Oh, and good morning. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, no, no. That Periscope we're talking about is uh, is from Twitter. It, yes. From Twitter. But I love that movie. So that movie is good. <laughs> I love that movie. It's probably in one of my. It's in my top ten favorite movies uh, of all time. That movie was that That's was great. really good. <laughs> Who was it? Kelsey Grammer. Yeah. I believe. Yeah, Kelsey Grammer. Man, oh that movie goodness. is so funny. It, it oh, was. It kills me. Uh, we need to watch that. Yeah, we do. But, after, oh God, here we go. After here we go. We watch Rocky Horror. Ah. Yeah, we actually had somebody said that they were they would be willing to watch Idiocracy if I watched Rocky Horror. There you go. Yeah, we'll get there. But you know what? The last movie that you guys, everybody here, made forced me to watch was the worst movie it's I've only, ever seen. Next to, next to Nacho Libre. It's only because you promised you would. I don't. And, you and I did it. Promised. On air. I didn't that promise you, you anything about Rocky Horror Picture Show, though. No, you have not. And you know, when I when I was younger, I, I knew that it was Rocky Horror Picture Show, but for some reason, I couldn't get it out of there. It was Rocky Mountain Horror Picture Show because I lived in Colorado, <laughs> and I thought it had something to do with the mountains. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Just saying. That's, that's good. Yeah, and then I realized there was no... <laughs> There was no mountain in there, and it was just Rocky Horror Picture Show. So I was like, oh, is it, does it have something to do with Stallone and Rocky? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. And no, then I found no out later it was about a bunch of transvestites, and Tim Curry was in it. And I was like, eh, I but watch other it's, stuff. it's more than that, because they're aliens. Are they really? Yes. Now I'm more interested. <laughs> Why the hell would you leave that detail out? <laughs> you never asked me what it was about, and you never So far... Me. So far, the only thing I've got is it's Tim Curry in drag with a bunch of other drag queens. And I'm like, eh, I love Tim Curry, but I'm not sure if I'm willing to watch a show about drag queens. <laughs> now, it's drag queen aliens. That I can get behind. <laughs> not literally. <laughs> and Gina is saying you have to watch it. <laughs> uh, we, uh, it'll happen at some point. It'll happen. I'm, I'm not going to promise squat because you guys will... You guys will be all, like, and I'll be like, no, and then it'll have to happen, and I'll be miserable, and I won't enjoy the movie. <laughs> Just like happened with that, what was that, what was it, Spice Girls? Oh. <sighs> uh, uh. Oh, see, see, even Dave is saying, really, Rocky Horror is on a completely different level than Spice Girls. Well, that's good. Spice Girls. Uh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. This is, uh, I was, it th even has meatloaf in it. it. So did Spice Girls. Okay, this is meatloaf right when he was... Getting out into but the now world? you're scaring me. If he's in Spice Girls and he's no, in the horror he's, show, he's oh. a rock and roll biker. I know who Meatloaf is in the movie. He's a rock and roll biker. He's the <laughs> enemy <of> life. <laughs> so they, oh. No, they are not spoilers because I'm not telling him what's going on. <laughs> right, yeah, but the alien thing makes me slightly more intrigued and less and more likely to watch it. So <laughs> just saying. Because, you know, I've got... You know what? I'm starting to get that guy's hair. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. <laughs> Maybe that should be my ultimate goal. Maybe I should, for so, the wintertime, okay. I should have a big fuzz do. So, all right. <laughs> Without going into... How's that? Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Woo! Oh, so... That there, is that better? Oh, good. Oh, no. <laughs> You know, with that hair, you could fit into the cast. <laughs> Jesus, says, it's awesome. What, my hair? Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I think it's the movie oh, she's talking come about. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Mario, oh, Mario says good morning. Good morning, Mario. Good, morning, Mario. Mario. <laughs> good to see you. And thank you guys for liking, commenting, and sharing. And Renee says Spice World. Not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, so, Spice Girls is on the level of Nacho Libre. It's in my top two most hated movies of all time. So, okay. That's I, saying something. <laughs> it is. Because I like some cheese, man. 
And that was not it. <laughs> no, no. Rocky Rocky Horror is on the level of your cheese. Okay? It, it really is. Now, let, let me give you an idea about this movie. Okay. Okay? And, and no, Dave, no spoilers. However, some of the main cast moved on out of Hollywood and all of that. Yes, I know they became famous from this movie, yes. Right. No, I'm saying some left Hollywood because of this movie. And, oh. and one person So you're actually, talking about some kind of trauma on set. Well, just in general. <laughs> and one person in particular from mm -hmm. the cast, from the main cast, um, opened a bar. And if people recognized her and brought up the fact that she was in this movie, she banned them from her bar. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so, yeah, there was some okay. level of a... Of trauma with this movie. <laughs> Dave says, uh, trust us, one of your top ten will be dethroned. Yes. <laughs> right, Dave? Or <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 it'll just see. expand. <laughs> yeah. It'll put, like, one and one, or yeah. two and two. <laughs> like, that's on par with this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Gina says, there's great music as well. Right. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've heard some of the songs, and it's kind of catchy, so. Yeah, yeah huh? <laughs> it is. Yeah. I don't know. I don't and know. you'll recognize a lot I'm of sure people. I will. <laughs> I do. I'm just saying. We'll see. I, I, all right. I will watch it. I'm not saying when, but it will happen. I, I'm gonna try to make it this weekend. <laughs> I got more better stuff to do this weekend, Lois. <laughs> I said I'm gonna try to make it to do this weekend. Uh -huh. Besides, have... Yes, Dave. Dave says, just know that Susan Sarandon denied being in the movie for years. Really. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Did Tim Curry traumatize her? I think I I think it was just the whole aspect of it. You know, because that, that reminds me of uh, of the whole Anthony Hopkins thing in Hannibal, hmm. where he scared what's her name. Uh, why can't I? It's early Jody in the Foster? morning. Yeah, Jodie Foster. She was traumatized in that movie. Really? Yes, she I was did not terrified, this. like mortally in fear of her life. Really? Yes, because of because uh, Anthony Hopkins w was so in character and was so freaking creepy. That she just she couldn't handle it. Like when when she goes in into the into the cells and yeah, and he starts talking about the kidney and the fava beans, you know that kind of thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, freaked her. Out. I did not know this. Yeah, she was oh my goodness. terrified. <laughs> <coughs> and honestly, if someone's that far into character and they're doing that, I mean, that's really freaking stuff. It, it is. So it is. that's one of the reasons I actually like uh, Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> When you can scare your fellow actors enough to think they're in the real thing, good on you. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, we, we definitely have to mark some time for, for some Rocky Horror. Well, hello. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not that level. <laughs> All right, fine. So, did, did we do anything interesting yesterday? Um, I worked on news. <laughs> no, you didn't. You worked on the election crap for like most of the day. Yeah, which is part of the news. I know, but... And then I did oh. news. Yeah, you spent like, what, six hours working on election results? <sighs> Something. Something like, some, like, like astronomically ridiculous. And then I came to the state stuff and it kept changing, so I gave up. Yeah, they're still <laughs> not done finalizing the counts um, on, on the election nope. stuff, but, I mean, the, the percentages are staying relatively the same, so... Yeah, for the most part. Mm -hmm. There is a couple that are um, in contention. Are there? So, okay. yeah. They could go either way. Not here in Page, though. No. No, in no. Page, it's pretty much a done deal. Pretty much, right. yeah. <laughs> who's going on to the general, who's been elected, who's this. Who's yeah, that. yeah. Such exciting news. Miss Counselor Woman. <laughs> it's still, no. Yes, <laughs> Miss Counselor. You know what? You're going you're gonna to be the only person on council with their own morning show. <laughs> On TV every day, people I, uh, can poke fun at you all the time. Uh, yes, they can. Yes, they can. <laughs> Not that I would stop anyway. <laughs> I know, right? It's kind of It'll a probably job. move it to another level, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Yeah, that's gonna be a, talk about public outreach, right? Oh, a counselor person with their yes. own TV show. Yes. Well, I guess technically it's mine, but uh, I mean, it, it is you're a co-host in the morning I am, show. So. I am, <laughs> and it's an everyday thing. I I know. Um, Higher politicians do, well, some of them um, do interviews and stuff like once a month 
on an yeah. update type thing. But you're just going to be here I in the morning goofing day. off every day. Yeah, pretty much. And I love it. <laughs> you do? I do. Yeah. I do love it. It's oh. fun. <laughs> Look, one of my inventions was successful. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to turn into like a Trump kind of person where you start doing horrifying tweets all the time? Oh, good lord, no. No? Oh, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> I think that'd be kind of funny. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Paige has its own tweet storm coming out after every council meeting. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Tweets going everywhere, man. That was the tweet sound. <laughs> I thought it was a bleep sound. <laughs> but that too. <laughs> You sound like a teletype. <laughs> oh my goodness, no. For those of you that know what a teletype is. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Gotta remember, younger generations, not so much. <laughs> I remember yeah. listening to uh, to old ham radios and stuff like that, and we would we would actually scroll through the different frequencies looking for the teletypes and stuff. Oh, really? It was <laughs> I found it fascinating. I'm like, I wonder what it's saying. Hmm. And it's probably, you know... Something completely useless, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I um before we continue on, oh. I, I'm gonna. Are you derailing everything? I, I am. <sighs> what? Uh, what, Lois? What? We do have to give a shout out to our friend Christine. We do. Yes. <gasps> Today's her birthday. Happy birthday, Christine! <laughs> Happy birthday! Okay. I don't know about this. <laughs> Nobody told. Facebook didn't even tell me. <laughs> Bad Facebook. That's how. That's the only reason I remember my own birthday. Uh, I, Facebook's like, "Happy birthday!" I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> "It's my birthday." That oh my you. Goodness. I forget it every year, and everyone's like, "Oh, happy birthday!" And I'm like, "No <laughs> <laughs> day older and deeper in day." Oh my. Yeah. That's pretty much what goes into my head, you know. <laughs> so. Wouldn't that be another year older? Say, man, he was made out of mud. Oh, man's made out of muscle and blood. Oh, muscle and blood and skin and blood. No. <laughs> I'm on that sweet dead of back. That's strong. No. All right. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, she's... You're no fun today, love. Oh, what am I So happy to birthday, do? Christine. All right. Today is my Penny Girl's birthday. She is 12. Yay, happy, happy birthday, Penny! <laughs> Yay! Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I'm just saying. I don't ever remember my birthday. I know you don't. I don't I like you them. Don't. You you have to do number things to remember birthdays. I do. Well, my birthday is really easy to remember that way. <laughs> it just comes across weird to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have a number thing to remember my birthday. Yeah, but I don't remember my justification behind it, but I do remember the date now. So. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, I actually had like a whole thing worked out. So. Uh, yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> yeah, <anyway. laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> That's some good stuff. <coughs> oh, I had a thing come up on, on Facebook. I think it was actually this morning while I was poking around getting ready for some stuff. And Facebook is like, <clears throat> would you like a, a, fi a 5 or a $10 credit to try advertising again? They're trying to get me back into it. And I'm like, no, I don't have enough money to advertise. That's why I stopped doing it. So piss off. <laughs> it's annoying because it'll tell me my post is doing this. Do you want to do something with it? I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, it does give us a bit farther of a reach for some things. But, you know, when you're broke, you don't advertise. Yeah, that's true. And, and that is actually the one thing that you should be doing when you're broke is advertising. But when I say broke, I don't mean like normal people broke where they're like, Oh, I don't know if I can if I can do an extra coffee today. I mean, broke is in. Hmm. <laughs> like find the change, find wrong, the change. Wrong Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. but yeah, Facebook was like, oh yeah, you should do this, and I'm like, yeah, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> and then, oh, oh, one of my favorite Facebook ones is, you should boost this post to reach. 75,000 people in your immediate area. I was like, obviously, you don't know where the hell I live. <laughs> 75,000 people in my immediate area. <laughs> what? Unless they're talking about the tourists, too. It, well, it doesn't matter, because they're they're basing it off of population, supposedly, and apparently they think they live in Phoenix. I don't know. <laughs> I don't live wow. in Phoenix. 
okay, yeah, Facebook definitely has to. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, and then they, they're constantly like, we care about you. We're always, you know, learning more and trying to do this. I'm like, obviously not. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> but now, hey, it's social media. That's what they do. Right? Yeah, this is true. They're this trying to control everything. <laughs> Apparently, there's like some kind of huge beep storm going on. <laughs> A brouhaha? Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, the Department of Justice might be investigating Twitter and Facebook and all kinds of stuff for censoring stuff. I saw that come across yeah. my feed yesterday, and I went, eh. Oh, and the thing <laughs> is, it's like, it's like, you're checking that out now? I mean, they've been doing it for how long? <laughs> Since their inception. I know. <laughs> uh, but now they're like, well, they can't do that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like but, wait, wake up. But wait a minute. In a way... Depending on what they're looking into, they can do it. Because they're private companies. Yes, absolutely. Depending on what they're looking into. Yeah, technically, but because... So, one of the things... (laughs) I I can't even believe I'm going to say this on Um, air. Oh, no. One of the things that's being talked about is turning all of the major social media platforms into utilities so that they can be regulated by the government. I am not kidding you. They're actually talking about it. That way, the, it has to be under government regulation and this and that. And I was just like, right, Facebook is a friggin' utility? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Well, they, they did the same thing with, like, with, you know, with phones, you know, when they came out. And yeah. Then, so they're actually talking about possibly doing that. I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Can you even imagine? So, okay, what you're saying, and, and I went through classes about things like this okay. for one yeah. of my degrees. Yes, I know. And I was there. What you're saying is that the government is saying that society completely relies on this and can't live without it. Therefore, it must be within their clutches. Yes. Yay. Yeah, there's talk about it. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but they're but actually talking about it. that's the idea behind it. it. It's like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> That's how. That's how. Put your I, phone down. Go outside and play. Don't yeah. walk into phone booth. Uh, pretty much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Mar- Marta says good morning, Paige, Arizona. Good morning, Marta. Good to see you. And Kelly says good morning. Good to see you. Thanks for joining yes, us. Yes. Good morning. Lady. Oh, and thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting. Uh, yes. And Gina says uh, here's a good way to raise money: pick a certain number of people to join the behind the hat, and you'll watch Rocky Horror. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there you go. We can try that. Watch it on behind the hat. Yeah, but well, no. I mean, she's saying that that would be the thing. If we get like, say, ten people to sign up for behind the hat unplugged, then I would watch it. You know, like set up a goal like right, that. Right, right. Yeah, I don't think it would let me watch it on behind the hat unplugged because it's Facebook and it would censor it and it would block it. It would copyright yeah. violate it, and then we get booted off of Facebook. <laughs> Just saying, that's how that works. Yeah, true. <clears throat> then we the people shall start another revolution, says Renee. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, there's all kinds of craziness going on. There definitely is. I want my government assisted <laughs> Facebook check. <laughs> hey, what about us? Would that would that make us like PBS? Would we get some kind of subsidy? Oh, I'm excited. Um, I want taxpayer the, money. The only way we could have done that is if we formed a 501c3 rather than an LLC. No, I'm for profit, damn it. <laughs> I want money. <laughs> I'm greedy. I want money. I'm just kidding. Guys. We are in this uh, to try and make a living. Yes, yes. It's going extraordinary slowly. If you would like to help out with the endeavor and support LPN, the morning show, the news, the breaking news, the special reports, the special interviews. You too can join Behind the Hat Unplugged. See what's going on behind the scenes. See how we how we think and feel about things and find out some useful and early information all the time. It's ten dollars a month. If you're interested, message us here on Facebook and we'll get you set right up. Yep. And uh, Gina says, just watch it at home. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, David is saying, stop it, Chris. You're making my stomach hurt. I don't want to laugh this much. (laughs) What? (laughs) That's That's the the point. (laughs) That is the (laughs) point. Oh, my goodness. And you would think with as much laughing as we do, we'd have all our, our viewers... And us should have a six pack by now. Right, <laughs> but I still got a keg. What the <laughs> Apparently, I need to get off my butt more. <laughs> 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 
spend all my time in front of the computer. Oh. So, oh. so do, do we want to set like an arbitrary goal for joining memberships for uh, for Behind the Head Unplugged, and then I'll watch horror shows? It's up to you. Let's make Why it. Why not? What about what the, you want to go with like ten? Sure. All right. If we get ten people to sign up for Behind the Head Unplugged, which is ten dollars a month. Then I'll watch the the Rocky Horror Picture Show or Rocky Mountain Horror Picture Show, as I used to call it. <laughs> so there you go. If you're interested in joining, you guys uh, send us a message here on Facebook after the show. Don't spam me while we're on live. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You can spam me. That's good. All right, uh, Gina says. Right, that's what I keep saying. <laughs> I, I thought we were supposed to be having a good time to make the day better. <laughs> Not that it works for us, but I hope it works for you guys. <laughs> Our day goes downhill from here really fast. <laughs> she starts working on homework, and everything gets miserable, and I hide. <laughs> well, while you're hiding, maybe you just go out and walk. <laughs> I could, but that would take effort. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the will to live has left me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a win-win. <laughs> just say it's a win-win. All right, all right, I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh. Well, so so, what do you think about this podcast thing that we're talking I, about? I I think it would be an it's an intriguing idea. I mean, I'd why like not? to see how it goes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it it is a possibility. It's not a definite thing, but it, one thing that I have considered doing for quite some time is actually incorporating like the morning show or possibly the news into a podcast that people can listen to, like when they're driving and stuff like that. Right. And. Um, it, it, it's not that complicated. It's just kind of a pain in the neck and it costs a little extra money for hosting services and stuff. And I'm like, mm. but there's some people that I know that are working on some stuff that may make it easier and this and that. And I'm, you know, and they're like, is anybody interested? And I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. So we'll see, we'll see what comes out of it. I mean, who, who, who here would actually be interested in listening to us audio only? I, I, I think <coughs> with, with morning show podcasts, we'd probably have to, Put in a disclaimer in the beginning. <laughs> Do, um, be careful of where you are driving when listening to Do this. not drink coffee while <laughs> driving and listening to this podcast. Well, Because you have several of your of our viewers out there that apparently blow coffee out of the news. <laughs> which well, is not good for your sinuses. It's not a neti pot solution. <laughs> Just saying. Coffee out of your nostrils hurts. Don't do it. <laughs> and especially don't do it on your keyboard or on your phone. It's not. It's a sticky mess. It's not necessarily the coffee, though. <laughs> I was thinking driving while laughing. Oh. I, I've, I've listened to a book while driving, okay. and I was laughing so freaking hard. I had to pull over or else I was going to get into an accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, you were responsible enough to pull over and finish your laugh attack. I, I couldn't So breathe. if you're not, well, that's your problem. <laughs> I Just couldn't land. breathe. I couldn't see. I mean, the whole gambit. <laughs> <laughs> Renee says, why not use Bluetooth on their phone like I do? I suppose you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And rather than, you know. <laughs> yeah, rather than sitting there staring at it. Yeah. Some people already listen to us audio only anyway, so yep. maybe they would try the podcast. And with the podcast thing, there's other productions that we can do. One of the things, I don't know if you guys know this or remember that I've said this, but one of the things that I want to do is actually expand LPNN's programming. Yes. We want to have more shows, but to do that, <laughs> need money. So stuff's not cheap and it's not easy. So support us. Join Behind the Hat Unplugged or find a business and tell them to sponsor us or you will stop going there. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the kitchen to fry up some spam. Fair warning, I will be back. <laughs> I am not spamming my own channel. It's my channel. It's not spam. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, and, and Kelly's laughing at us. Well, thank you. Yes, yeah. yes. That is what we are here for today. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, that's what we're here for in the mornings. Yeah, and you're, you're always saying that I should do, uh, like, radio voices. Well, yes, a podcast is like radio. Can you imagine the, the weirdness? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and there was actually, uh, you know, we, we were talking about it before. If we could find some kind of animation stuff, we mm -hmm. could actually do like a little comic strip kind yeah. of thing. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. The possibilities are infinite. Why? Because I have my own TV station. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what? What is <Renee. laughs> Coffee makes a mess on the windshield, too. Yes, Renee knows from personal experience exactly how crazy this stuff can get. 
Uh, what is that? I, I'm not sure what that means. Kelly, Kelly is saying she got the Note 9, uh, Samsung Note oh, 9. Oh! Awesome sound, she says. Good, good. Nice. Glad to hear it. That's oh, a happy yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. She got a better phone than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I have an S8 Plus, which I actually got specifically for making this company work. Yeah. Because and it, it was the best really option well. available it had the best camera, it was waterproof, and it was this, and it was that, and I had to have something that was going to be able to work for doing the news and the yeah. live broadcast. And a lot of people are like, well, it's not waterproof. <laughs> you want to bet? Yeah, it is. I recorded stuff at the bottom of a swimming pool for over an hour with that sucker. It works great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you try that at home. But I was like, I just got the phone, I'm like, eh, might as well give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's still under warranty. Yeah, it's still under warranty. <laughs> Like, what happened to your phone? I was filming at the bottom of the swimming pool. They were like, <gasps> what? <laughs> I know, I did. It worked. <laughs> Dave says, yeah, I agree with podcast and expanded programming. Make it so. Number one, you are not the captain. You are the supreme overlord. I am the captain and the admiral of my own show. <laughs> but I do agree with you. Unfortunately, without some more fundage, it ain't happening. So. We're going to give this a try. We're going to give it a shot. What are we giving a shot? The, the friend you were talking about. Oh, well, yeah, we'll try the podcast yeah, thing. Yeah. But about the expanded programming, um, with the expanded programming, I would love to do it, but we have to try and actually make some money so that we can pay the bills before we expand our programming. Yeah. Right now, it is there's just way too much stress going on to create more shows. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes into the production of this. It's, it's, it's not pretty. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, oh, Kelly no. says, blowing coffee out the nose approved. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. That's good. Me. You know what? So, so Dave went on. He said, uh, make it so it's like he's the captain. Well, I said he's the supreme overlord. You are Ming the Merciless. I am Flash Gordon and Captain Picard, so stand by, Ming. <laughs> oh. We're coming for you. <laughs> we, can't, we have to come up with a theme song, man. That'll be fun. <laughs> Flash. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon approaching. That would be me. Oh, Watch out. Here I come. No. <laughs> that is oh. one movie you have had me watch. You liked it. I did, but oh. it was beyond my level of cheese. And, and, and It's Flash Gordon. You can't not like Flash Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> that is just no good, man. <laughs> I mean, it was it was okay, and and oh, just okay. Oh, oh no, I'm I'm gonna. It's got maximum side out in it. How can you not like it? I'm I'm gonna get annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Man, and, and you know what? In all honesty, I love Queen. I, yeah. I love <laughs> Queen. That is one of Queen's songs that I've never been a. A really oh. big fan. Yeah, but well, then you watch the movie, and then it's like, yeah, that's awesome. It, it is a good movie. I just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're more of uh, of uh, princes of the universe, huh? Because you like Adrian Paul. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are, born to the king, where the it princes took me a second. of you would ever. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not why I like that song. I liked that song yeah. before Highlander came out. Okay. All right, I'll give you that. So, right. there you are. <laughs> so, you know, for those of you that don't know, I I like my cheese, and I like my old stuff. I love Flash Gordon. I actually like the old serials on radio and stuff as well, but one of my absolute favorite ones is The Shadow. Yes. I love The Shadow. I love the movie. I love the old radio stuff. I actually had my kids listening to the radio version of it from, from way back in the day. They love it. See, The and, Shadow Knows. <laughs> and I could easily get behind The Shadow. Yeah. We could totally do a podcast with The Shadow. Uh, we could. But, but the kids thought it was The Shadow Knows. They thought, they thought it was actually his nose, not that he knew. And I thought, it's great. They're like, Daddy, what's a shadow nose? I was like, huh? And they're like, a shadow knows. What's a shadow nose? And I was just like, <laughs> The great things kids say. <laughs> uh, let's see. Renee says Green Hornet is better. I like the Green Hornet as well, but I like the Shadow better. Uh, Kelly says I'm going to fight the fracking problem. Would love to hear your views on this. The fracking problem? Are we talking about fracking? Are we getting into politics? I what? don't know. Um, and Dave <laughs> says bring it. I have most of the avatars set up for animation comic. Really? That's what he says. Oh, cool. <laughs> 
Hold on, I gotta see. You, I, you I missed, missed that. it. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta you scroll. Read everybody else's. Well, it, it popped up. He says, "Bring it." I have most of the avatars set up for animation comic. So, what is it like a program that you have that you can set it up for? I'm, I'm kind of confused on that. I have to look that up. That looks pretty interesting. And then Gina says, "I have Radio Classics on XM." Nice. And Renee is saying, "Oh yes, the shadow is great." The shadow knows. <laughs> And Gina says, I've been listening since I was a kid to the old serials. Nice. Well, look at that. We're, we're all a group of old farts that like listening to old radio. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to bring it to the next generation and, here. And the funny thing is, though, is it's all coming back. I know. Because it's it was so retro. cool, they forgot about it. Now it's cool again. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's always been cool, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I have you're been listening have to, since... What? You're going to have to scroll I, It's down. not scrolling, woman. Just click new messages. Mm. There you there. go. There. Okay. It'll go away. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to be the tech person. Well, it's a new little <laughs> blooper <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's like... Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, goodness gracious. So, yeah, you're going to have to let me know what you're talking about with this animation thing, Dave. Uh-oh. <clears throat> that sounds interesting. <laughs> interesting indeed. <laughs> oh, and she's saying, right? With things coming back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's always been cool. You just now figured it out. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just saying. <clears throat> oh. Oh. <laughs> Kelly's saying, fracking crack fractures, fracking ruining our water. Well, okay. there's a whole debate behind that. But <laughs> it's the morning show. We're supposed to be having fun. So, frackin' frackity frack frack from Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Who knows that one? Come on! Aww. I do. Frack, 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 frack. You better be careful singing that. What? <laughs> you could slip up. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Yeah, Kelly says, frack, exactly. <laughs> See, she knows where I'm going with that. <clears throat> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, although, you know, I love the original Battlestar Galactica. Speaking of old stuff, I love it to death with the, uh, with Al uh, Green and all that. Or Lauren Green, I'm sorry. Um, but they really outdid themselves with the new Battlestar Galactica. That was absolutely incredibly amazing. I, just, I liked the new one. Yeah, the new I one I used to watch the epic. old one um, when I was really... I love the old one. It was amazing. It was a lot of fun. But compared to the new one... <laughs> Ain't and no competition on that one. <laughs> I'm not saying something because you are not one for remakes. No, usually not. But man, they blew the doors off of that thing. That one was good. I was hooked. I'm like, oh! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, so good, so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, and you, you actually watched it. You enjoyed it. Eh? Yeah, I did. Yeah. At I first, did. you were like, I don't know. It pretty much. Yeah, you're like. Hey. I'm, I'm not into. I'm not really into sci-fi. Uh, which is odd because all of the shows that I make you watch are sci-fi, and I you know. love them. I do. So. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Apparently, you are into sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beep 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 beep. <laughs> oh goodness. Renee's beating us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, frack is not a bad word. They can say it on on broadcast TV. It's, yeah. it's in place. So I have to practice on my fracking skills. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What? Oh, come on, man. That means we'll be watching it again. What, Battlestar? Yeah, uh huh. Nah. To get back into the habit. No, it's easy. It's already in my head. All I right. just have to swap it over. <laughs> <laughs> Self editing. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Kelly. <laughs> it's Kelly Oten Boten and Bob Billy B. Bob I I think that was a butt dial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. You know what? That actually looks kind of familiar. I think that comes from something. Oh, I can't place it though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they really they really outdid themselves. And there was another one. Okay, so we're but we're still talking about old shows, new shows, all that kind of stuff. So there was another show. Uh, what was it? It was um, <coughs> Flash Gordon, actually. Um, Flash Gordon, you know, it was their old radio serial, then they had the old show, and then, then they had the movie, and, you know, you either love it or hate it. Um, they actually, Sci-Fi did a series on Flash Gordon and tried to make it more like the original serial. It was alright. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like... There's oh. only so much you can do if yeah. you try to make something like an original. Yeah, I, it, it was it was decent, though. I mean, it wasn't like epic, but it wasn't bad. You know, I mean, it was watchable. It wasn't something that I would like. It's, it wasn't like Battlestar Galactica where it was like, whoa. 
<laughs> like, what's gonna happen next? It was like, I could get behind this. It's kind of fun. <laughs> you know, I mean, at least it's not great, but uh, you know, not bad. <laughs> Gina's saying she loves sci-fi, and ah. Kelly's saying, "Yep." I don't know to whom. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love internet oh. delay. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's a, and if you hadn't noticed, our, our internet is having all kinds of fun over here. Of course it is. Because <sighs> it does that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, let's see, what else was there? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm lost no. in this Austin. No, no. <laughs> you were talking about Flash Gordon. Oh, yeah. The, the old different shows yeah. and versus the new shows and things of that nature. Yeah. 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 I don't know. There, there, there is a lot of stuff, but sometimes doing the remakes doesn't work out. I mean, there, no. there are plenty of examples of like, no, yeah, you should are. not have done that because you suck. <laughs> David says uh, the college radio station I worked at back in the early seventies did a radio, a weekly <laughs> radio recreation recreation oh, of Dracula. My wow, I'm having some good times today. <laughs> Jeez, that's pretty cool, David. I like that. That's that's pretty neat. And I wouldn't mind doing uh, something like that. There's a speaking of radio shows. I actually I love radio shows because it, it, you know you have to use your head and it's more mm-hmm. fun that way. Um, and I and I actually got you into it yes. for a while. And, and then it school was, just yeah, you know, school shot that life. one. Down. But <laughs> there's actually a new well new ish radio show. It's a podcast. You can watch it for free. It doesn't cost anything. Watch it's it. called. Well, watch it, listen to it. <laughs> Come on, really? Potato, potato. It's the same thing. <laughs> anyway, it's called Welcome to Night Vale. You guys should look that up. And oh, listen that's to really it. good. It is so much fun. It is. I love it. And it's all like the old radio stuff used to be. It, and definitely. It, and Night Vale is this town somewhere where mysterious, strange, and odd things go on. And the news broadcaster is the main guy that talks about things. And so there's always some kind of weird situation going on. It's really fun. It is fun. And we used to listen to it to go to bed, too. It was fun. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you just (laughs) sit there listening to it because of the way he talks. And, you know, it just kind of puts you to sleep. But it's a really good show. Uh, Right. So, um... uh, I was thinking of a disclaimer, but never mind. (laughs) Oh, we don't need a disclaimer. I'll figure it out. The original Batman was awesome. Yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah, I, I could see a lot of fun going on with something like that. So Yeah, you know, definitely. We just need to find some more... I think you would uh, have a really good time doing that. Possibly, yeah. I, and I, I, you know, like I said, it's one of the things that I've been wanting to do is adding more programming, but we got to get some more sponsors on board. I know. It's <clears> going <throat> to take some time. Yeah, I know. You know. We'll I'm get still, there. We'll I'm get still there. running into people in the area that don't know about us yet. Really? It, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's because yeah. they don't know what the internet is. <laughs> <laughs> it does happen, believe it or not. All right. So, so, yeah, you know, just spreading the word and yeah. and all of that fun, happy jazz. <laughs> it could be fun. It could it, be fun. I think you would have a great time at that. Yeah, maybe. I, I do. I, you know, I, I, I had so many ideas for doing for doing shows and things like that. I would love to do them. I think I think we could have a good time. I think you could be parts of some. Maybe you know, like I'd like to hire some other voice talent. You know, yeah. And, yeah I mean, there's all kinds of fun stuff. That, you know, yeah. And I'm I I think you know if we're able to just at least start it, I I think we could get volunteer voice talent. Yeah. Although I may not need any since I can do so many voices. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, so, how, how's your female voice? Huh? Well, it depends on, on exactly what we're doing. Oh, no, <laughs> no. It'll just be a show full of guys. They don't need any women. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful with that because you'll end up like uh, Monty Python. Or, um, yeah, Monty, yeah, Monty Python. Python. <laughs> like, ah, ah. Ah. You're not diverse enough. I'm doing it all by myself. It's just me, myself, and I. You're saying I'm not diverse self, diversified myself and myself? No, 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 no. I can't even speak today. I can tell. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, they, you know, they probably totally would. They were like, your, your staff is not diversified enough. And I'm like, well, it's just me, myself, and I, and I'm freaking crazy. So what? <laughs> they were like, well, you don't have this. Well, I can identify as that and create another personality. What do you say? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can totally see that happening. Oh. How sad is that? How sad is that? I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that could be kind of fun. No, I think it could be. 
I think yeah. you would have a lot of fun with that. Well, we're almost out of time for today. Do you have anything you want to bring up oh, there, Lars? I've got a bunch. No, oh, well, I, well, I, then we'll just have those for tomorrow. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so what do you got, Lois? What do you oh, got? Scroll down. Okay. Because we hit on, on... Second from the bottom? No, no, actually, it's that one right there. This one? Yep. Well, then why did I have to scroll down? Why? Why? Because I just said so. Oh. <laughs> oh, and because you say it, it makes it so. Pretty much. All right, fine. Whoa! Hello, ads of doom. All right, let's see. What, so huh? we sort of talked... We, we sort of talked about this... Okay. ...earlier... Um, uh, with with people getting off their phones and going out to play. Oh yeah, the zombie thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What what's the headline? Oh no! <laughs> Glue road signs to the floor for zombie pedestrians on their phones. Government advisor says. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. I don't know, Lois. You have to tell me. Would that work on you? No. I didn't think so. Because they're fixated on their screen. They're not going to see the sign if it's on the ground, if it's in front of them, if it's on the thing. You're going to have to install some kind of friggin' Wi-Fi thing that overrides their phone and puts up a thing that says, beep, beep, pay attention, dummy. <laughs> but this is... And this even then, they probably just try and close it really quick because they think it's an ad. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need to pay attention. I'm fine. Smack. Like, oh, oh, all right. So, so what this is is... It's an advisor to, this is a person um, who advises governments around okay. the world right. on on transportation safety and things of that nature. Okay, is this guy and specific to the U.S. or just everybody? Just everybody. Oh, okay. And, and so what they're suggesting is redesigning streets and putting signs on the ground mm -hmm. would have a greater impact on preventing pedestrian accidents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going with let Darwinism rule out on that one. I don't want to spend billions of dollars in redoing infrastructure to attempt to save idiots that can't look up for a second and not get run over. Just saying. It doesn't really sound like it's a good incentive to me. If they're completely tied into their phone, what good are they doing anyway? Let them get squished. <laughs> And if they're a loved one and the loved one lets them get squished, well... <laughs> Pretty much. But in the end, it's their own personal responsibility. It is. it is. It used to be pull your head out of your bleep. Now it's pull your head out of your phone. You're going to get run over. <laughs> Just saying. <sighs> oh, and Kelly's saying Patrick White is awesome at that. Makes me blow coffee, coffee <laughs> out of my nose. Oh, so, cool. yeah. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, the headline got me. Yeah. And, and like you said, signs. I don't think that having signs on the road would fix the problem. I don't They're either. too fixated in their little world. They're not going to see past the six inches in front of their nose to see the sign on the ground. <laughs> not, that's why you're going to have to come up with an interrupter signal. And you know what? That would actually be cheaper anyway. Stop giving them ideas. Just <laughs> They already override your phone for Amber Alert. Oh, why not have true. why not have a you know a proximity detection system where when you sense a zombie going by, it goes Bing Bing, pay attention, Demi. Oh, no. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. I go, eh, why not? <laughs> and you know, with the new five G that's coming up, it actually has a, a much shorter range uh, than like four G and stuff like that. So they're actually going to have to install um, little antennas on like street lights and stuff like that all over through cities and things because because just because of the nature of 5g the way it works they're going to have to install antennas everywhere so that's like the perfect opportunity for complete invasive government control so that they could put it up in there and say hey pay attention now will it work Meh. probably not but it's a heck of a lot cheaper than you know, billions of dollars in redoing infrastructure. Just say it. Oh, boy. Because <laughs> they're already redoing the, the, the cell towers. So. Yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> All right. I have another one that we've, we've oh, okay. touched on today. Oh, we touched it? Did we touch yeah. it? Like that, that, we did. We did. Um, what you this got? one is scroll down. Okay. All right. So, one of these two because they're the same topic. Oh, okay. All right. We'll go with the shorter one. All right. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Don't push the maybe, baby. So, we were talking about, you know, me going on a Twitter storm. Okay. Once I become a council member, all oh, of that fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I still um, think that would be funny. Yeah, no. But we could do it behind the hat instead. 
Hey, yes. Behind the head unplugged. Ah, spamming you again. There you go. There you go. Um, now, I've already been forewarned about um, speaking on the dais. Oh, yes. And, and you've already talked to yes. me about it as well. And that I need to watch what I say and how I say it. And yes, because there are certain certain rules, and then there's a certain decorum that you have to make sure you follow to keep it a professional body. Um, Read that headline. All right. Uh, I don't know what curl is, but Senate Democrats make a mockery of the world's greatest deliberative body. What so is going on? In what this has picture? been going on the last couple of days over in Washington? I don't know. They're trying to screw us out of something. Oh my what? <laughs> Just no, saying. Um, um, Kavanaugh's about... con- confirmation yeah, yeah, hearings. confirmation hearings. Well, okay, okay. scroll down. Oh, boy. Here we go. This one here? Ten seconds into... It didn't take ten seconds for the whole thing to melt down into chaos. Yes. Okay. So they're so... having a confirmation hearing, and it took ten seconds for them to have some kind of meltdown. Right. And yesterday, they were removing people one every minute. Are you serious? Yes. Now, for what? Now, what are they doing? There are Jesus. certain people who are in leadership positions uh-huh. that have started this, and here's the irony of this. Oh boy! Um, one person, <laughs> Senator Harris, Camilla Harris, okay, um, was saying that they didn't receive um, certain documents in time. Okay, and it was forty-two thousand documents what? the night before. Now, this is what she's saying. We cannot possibly move forward. We have not had an opportunity to have a meaningful hearing. Now, the irony of this is Obamacare. I was going to say, they didn't read Obamacare. They passed that. <coughs> but we couldn't read it before. Yeah, you had to pass it to read it. <laughs> you got to pass it to know so, what did it. That's not how that works. So what happened was, is the person who was starting the hearings, mm-hmm. day one, he is trying to introduce what they are doing there. Okay. And trying to introduce Kavanaugh. Okay. And immediately started oh, so they're getting basically interrupted. just trying to stonewall it before this. Just just to, just to stop it, just to stop it. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Immediately. Now, as a council person, I'd be removed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and they're not. <laughs> and it's like Wait a minute. It, we, we do not deal in moral equivalency. You have to be the better person. That's how that works. I, I, no, no, no. Don't, don't not, sink to the level of these idiots. No, no. I'm not getting at that. I'm getting at the... I would be removed hmm? from a council meeting. These okay. people are not... Yeah. I, it's I don't the know. people in the, the the audience that's being removed. <sighs> it's not the leaders that are interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just some kind of, some kind of and, show up there. And mm-hmm. what astounded me, um, the other link actually has the first 10 seconds in, quoted out as to what happened. Okay. And what astounds me is they didn't even let the introductions. So they went to try and introduce, somebody interrupted them, and it was a giant. A cluster. Fracking show. And it just <laughs> melted from there. Oh, man. What? And it was like, come on, guys. Y'all are supposed to be representing yeah. legitimate us. stuff, people. Don't just start spamming it with idiocy. I mean, come on, really? Uh, and, and may Darwin just... feast upon your scrawny souls. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, and we talked about it earlier with with me being a council member yeah. and going on a tweeting storm. But it was just <laughs> at least I would if if. I did a Twitter storm. <laughs> At least it would be after the meeting. Well, not... it could even be during. Like... <laughs> no, because yeah. that's not professional. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Gina says it's a bunch of BS. Yeah, yeah it, it certainly much. sounds like it. And it's not professional. Yeah, it's not. And if you have legitimate concerns, legitimate arguments, legitimate discussion that you want to have, that's one thing. But just spouting off with a bunch of BS to try and install something because you don't like it. That's called snowflake behavior. And I got a message for you. We've got hair dryers. <laughs> Snowflakes die. <laughs> no, we're, that's I'm it, disappearing. Lois. You're done. Oh, what do you mean I'm done? It, that's it, Lois. You're done. Oh. No, no loss. No loss. No loss. Oh. What well, we have to wrap this this freak show up, man. Oh. So I thank you like guys you. for liking. <laughs> Sorry. What did you say? I said I don't like to. 
Somebody get out the ball gag. No. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and sharing, and joining us today on The Morning Show. And don't forget, if you want to join Behind the Head Unplugged and help support the show, just message us. <laughs> All right, do you have anything else, Lois? Um, no. Gina... <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Gina says they are supposed to be professional adults. And that's the problem they're not. They've turned into snowflakes. They need to be melted with my hair dryers of doom. <laughs> <laughs> and there are snowflakes everywhere. It and... doesn't matter... What what creed, what your liberal, Republican, blah, blah, blah. There are snowflakes everywhere. We're being surrounded and buried. We got to clean out some drifts, people. Let's get this global warming on the roll and melt the snow. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> oh, no. All right, all right. And once more, happy birthday to Christine. Happy birthday. And happy birthday to Penny. <laughs> Are you ready for some room? I am. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye.